everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. Today's video is going to be a little eyeshadow declutter. I have already removed these eyeshadows out of my inventory so in my Panda palette introduction video these are no longer counted towards my collection but I still wanted to share these eyeshadows with you that I decided to declutter and let you know why. So these are the eyeshadows that I have decided to let go of. There's a couple of palettes that are leaving, but then there are three palettes that I have depotted and then there's a couple of singles. I was supposed to do a declutter where you see the process of me decluttering. However, I really wanted to take my time thinking about oh, what to do with the eyeshadows because I feel in that kind of video I need to make little bit more rushed decisions. So I really took my time, swatched the eyeshadows. So that's why I'm just going to now afterwards show you the eyeshadows I decided to declutter. But yeah, let's get into it and let's start with the singles. There are a couple of magnetic single pans and they are my two single eyeshadows from Inglot. So first of all, I decided to declutter my lime green matte eyeshadow from Inglot. I used to love lime cream matte eyeshadow. I used to have a shade like this in the BH Cosmetics Modern Matte Eyeshadow palette and that shade was like one of my favorite shades in the palette. And I ended up uh, panning that palette for a while and after that I ended up decluttering the palette. I tried to depot some shades but the lime cream that I tried to depot actually shattered so I thought that I will choose to purchase a lime cream single. So if I'm not mistaken I think that was in the earlier part of 2021 and I purchased this eyeshadow in summer of 2021 so over a year and a half ago and I think I have only worn it once. I have tried it to see if I like it as much as the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow and there is nothing wrong with the pigmentation or anything but you know the thing is that I'm just not that much into colorful bright eyeshadow anymore. Sure I have some left in my collection but this is not really a shade I would gravitate towards and I don't see there being an occasion where I would want to do a lime green eyeshadow look. So yeah I just cannot see myself really using this eyeshadow so it needs to go. I'm also going to declutter my another eyeshadow from Inglot. This is like a kind of like bronzy shade. This shade is quite pretty but I do have these shades so many times all over in my collection and it is too deep for me to wear as an all over lid shade, especially on my everyday basis. So I just cannot see myself getting enough use out of this. So I am just going to declutter it, see if someone else once it then I decided to declutter two loose eyeshadows. Loose eyeshadows are something that I have gone back and forth <laughs> between decluttering them and taking them back to my collection and these two I think I have decluttered both of them at least once from my collection and then I have taken them back but now it's really time to let go of these. I still decided to keep some loose eyeshadows but these are just not colors that I would wear and I actually want to swatch these to you. So the first one is from brand Aromaly and it's their loose eyeshadow in Spenoptera and this one is like a really really intense purple loose eyeshadow. It's beautiful but you know I don't wear this kind of eyeshadow. It's so shimmery, so intense. It's kind of like a duochrome. I hope the camera picks it up. But yeah, it is just too intense for me for this kind of color. The another loose eyeshadow that I decided to declutter is from brand Prisha Cosmetics. They have gone out of the business, unfortunately. I don't think loose eyeshadows are that popular anymore. So a lot of these brands making these have gone out of business. This is from a collection that was called A Boy Who Lived, so Harry Potter themed. And this shade is called Phoenix Tears. And the reason why I have kept this eyeshadow is that it's pretty unique to my collection because it is a shimmery orange and typically you don't see that. Brands like to do matte oranges but not shimmery oranges for some reason. 
but you know I just I have not worn this eyeshadow for at least over a year or over two years I don't know so there it is. I just cannot see myself really reaching for this eyeshadow. Although now that I'm swatching it and looking at it, I'm like, should I maybe keep this eyeshadow? You know what? I'm still going to keep this eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I know. I'm so bad at doing this. But um, as I said, this is a unique eyeshadow to my collection. I'm going to keep it for now. But the light purple eyeshadow, that is too much and that needs to go. Okay, let's move on to the eyeshadow palettes. I decided to declutter two out of my collection. So the first one, you probably can guess, it is the Seattle London Olivia Palermo Smoky Sewage eyeshadow palette. So this one was my Panda palette for 2022 and I was able to finish four out of the nine shades and I have hit pan on four more. There is only one shade where there is not pan. And yeah, I decided when I started panning this in the beginning of 2022 or actually it was in the end of 2021 that after the Panda palette this one will leave from my collection. Unfortunately, these shades could not be depotted because the shades are pressed directly into the plastic. So there, there is not metallic pants there. So yeah, it's time to say goodbye to this palette, but I totally feel I have gotten my money's worth out of this. This one was a more expensive palette. I think it was closer to 50 euros. Now it's time to use some other palettes. Then I am going to declutter another palette. By the way, I'm sorry, the lighting is coming like between the lines a little bit and it's kind of like distracting but I still want to get through <laughs> filming this video right now. The sun is shining from so low now in the middle of winter that it is what it is if I'm filming during daytime. So there was two eyeshadow brands that I wanted to try for 2022 and I allowed myself to purchase mini palettes from the brand and I purchased both of the palettes in October and I got to say I'm not that impressed with any of the brands. This first one I'm quickly going to mention it but I'm still going to keep it in my collection but it is the Natasha Denona mini glam palette. I don't know how well this color story represents the glam palette because this one clearly leans kind of like neutral to warm so when you think about the glam palette you think about something more cool toned people tend to talk about it as the cool palette from Natasha Denona but at least this one isn't that cool uh, I do like these colors but I wasn't that impressed with the formula like surely it's nice but I don't get the hype based on this palette I'm not really any more interested in trying more from Natasha Denona but then again I have heard people saying that these mini palettes do not represent the formula that well and it's better in the larger palettes so let me know if you have experience with that this year I'm not thinking of purchasing any like full size eyeshadow palettes especially from a brand like Natasha Denona because I'm on a tight budget right now but maybe one day but yeah based on this I wasn't impressed but another higher end mini palette that I purchased is from Viseart and I was so disappointed with this palette. So this one is one of the Viseart Petite Pro eyeshadow palettes. It is in the Midsummer shade and I have used this palette now three times. I think I have used all of the shades except one and I'm just disappointed with both the shimmers and the mattes. I think the shade that I have not used is this kind of like more cool down brown on the bottom row but everything else I have used. First of all the colors I feel they just don't really represent what you see online on like the promo pictures. It looks so vibrant and beautiful and even when I have seen like some bloggers and people doing swatches with this palette they still look more vibrant and like there is a little bit more warmth to them but on real life I feel they are just so kind of like lackluster. Maybe I will swatch a couple of these. I mean can you even see the swatches? It was like one swirl. Of course you shouldn't judge eyeshadows based on swatches but I feel these don't perform on the eyes any better. I typically do set my eyeshadow primer when I do my eyeshadow look and I did that first time when I used this palette and 
you know, I just couldn't get any pigment to my eyes. So the two next times I didn't set my eyeshadow primer, they worked better, but still it was kind of lackluster. And then the shimmers, they are just bad in my opinion. So the pink shimmer over here, it's just like this sh shimmery kind of like mess, not at all something I like. I would prefer more like a satin finish or something, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. I do have similar colors in way better formula. Then this is kind of like a matte with shimmer sort of shade. This is sort of interesting. It is like kind of like a duo chromey shade. I don't hate it. But I think it could be better and indie brands for sure do this kind of shades so much better. And I used to have a loose eyeshadow like this from Aromaly and I didn't really love the color on myself. It wasn't something that I kept in my collection, I decluttered it. So this is not by any means a reason for me to keep this palette. But yeah, I was just so disappointed with the, the formula and with the colors of this palette. So. You know, after using it three times, I decided that I no longer want to really wear it. I don't like it. So I decided to declutter the palette and let someone else have it now that it's still new. If someone else would have better luck with it. But I certainly did not like that palette, unfortunately. And based on that, I am not at all interested in trying more from VC Art. Like, I feel for Natasha Dinona, I could still give a second chance if there was like a full size palette in a color story that I really love, but with the art, I don't think I want to try anymore. I would rather try another brand. Okay, then I decided to depot three eyeshadow palettes from my collection, so let's still quickly go through this. The first one is the KVD Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. So this one was my Panted palette for the second half of 2022. So from this palette I decided to keep five eyeshadows and one of them I have used up and then five I decided to declutter. So the shades, no, six I decided to declutter. I almost missed the black. So the black and white I do have singles already in these colors and they are not something I use that often. Well, black I can use as a liner, but it's such a slow going shade that no reason for me to keep this. All of the browns that I decided to declutter, I do have so many times all over in my collection. And this, while I do enjoy this formula, it's not quite my favorite because there can be a little bit too much fallout for my liking. The peach over here, I thought that I would keep, but then when I tried to depot this shade, it started like cracking and a chunk of it came out. So I was like, you know what, it's not worth it. Like I do have these kind of like peachy pages quite a few in my collection. The shades that I decided to keep, maybe I will show those to you. So from the warm section, I decided to keep these two shades. So a really, really light peach. This is way lighter than the shade that is going. And then this shade Succubus that is like a really burnt orangey brown and I actually don't have toes in my collection and then I decided to keep the tops so this large pan I love it on my brows and then this darker one I also love it on my brows but both of these work also if I want to go for like toppy eyeshadow and then this uh, kind of like creamy shade over here is also something that I decided to keep Although I do have quite a few of these also in my collection, but at the same time I know these are shades that I do go through. Then another palette I decided to depot is the Juvia's Place, the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. And you know, this is something that I have been kind of like going back and forth if I want to keep it or if I want to declutter it. I have even thought about making this my palette palette one year. But after depotting, I am so happy I didn't do that because I realized that there are quite a few shades that I don't really like that much. Well, I don't hate them, but I do have those shades. Again, so many times all over in my collection. In formulas, I do like better. And then there are shades that I don't even like that much. These are the shades that I decided to declutter. So this is like a light kind of like duochrome peach. I don't really like duochromes that much. The only kind of duochrome that I like is that kind of like green that shifts a little bit red. 
Tenter is this kind of like matte yellowy orangey shade. I do have a shade similar to this in way better formula. Uh, deposited already in my collection, in my singles collection, so no reason to keep this. Then there's a couple of coppery shades. I don't really like copper eyeshadow that much, but I do have a lot of them in my collection, even without keeping these too. And then the bottom row. They are shades that if I pack this palette, I for sure would get good use out of them. But when I decided to depot this palette, I knew they are not shades that I would keep. I do have eyeshadows in similar colors that are better for me. So let me show you quickly the shades that I decided to keep from the Juvia's Blessed Nubian palette. So I decided to keep the beige matte. I do have quite a few beige mattes in my collection, but this one is maybe a little bit warmer than the other ones I have. So I wanted to keep it still. And then these three shimmers over here. So the peach, it's my favorite shade from the palette. Then this is kind of like a coral. And then over here is like a golden, bronzy golden shade. So yeah, those are something that I would enjoy as lid shades. And then the last palette I decided to depot is the Gimme Glow Cosmetics Christmas Morning Eyeshadow Palette. I was kind of going back and forth if I want to depot this palette or not because I mean, it's so cute and it's kind of like special, it's Christmas themed. However, I have noticed that I don't wear it other than <laughs> during Christmas season because it's Christmas themed. And then, you know, another thing was that I only liked half of the shades. So from this palette, I decided to declutter all of the mattes. I do not like the matte formula in this palette. The neutral mattes are in colors that I could see myself using. However, this formula is a harder matte formula. It is pigmented, so that's not an issue, but I feel it's one of those that it's harder and because of that it's difficult to blend. And then the colorful mattes I don't even like. And then another thing is that, in my opinion, this was not a complete palette. Usually when I would create a look from this, I would need to reach for other mattes from my collection to finish the look. However, the shimmers from the Gimme Glow are like out of this world. They are so amazing, so I kept all of the shimmers. So there is this gold over here. Maybe I will swatch all of these because they are so outstanding. And then in my Build Your Own palette for winter, there's three shimmers more from the Gimme Glow palette. So the silver, the red, and the green that is kind of like that kind of duochrome that I like. So a green that shifts a little bit red. So over there, as you can see, they are so blinding, so intense. I'm not necessarily typically even into these intense eyeshadows, but they are so beautiful that I had to keep them. But yeah, that was my little eyeshadow declutter in the end of the year, although this video will go up in January. But yeah, I always like to do some decluttering in the end of the year to get kind of like a fresh start for the new year. And you know, I still decided to keep the Phoenix Tears eyeshadow from Prisha Cosmetics because it's unique to my collection and maybe I could still use it. But all of the other eyeshadows that I decided to declutter, I'm really sure that I do not want to have them in my collection anymore. I wouldn't use them enough. I do have similar shades already in my collection in formulas I like better. So yeah, why keep them and have all of this clutter in my life? But yeah, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next one. Bye bye.